Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor. Thanks for checking me out. So I'm driving to work again, and uh, just wanted to say a couple things. Um, I did mention on this channel before, I don't know if some people knew this, that I said that, uh, well, God told me when I was small, a uh, little kid, uh, that uh, wasn't, I wasn't shrunk in size, I was small, but uh, a child. Um, that I was the chosen one. So I remembered that. I was triggered uh, later on in life and, and changed my life accordingly trying to figure out what that meant. Now, um, just bringing that up briefly, that uh, the person with the handle, um, which is interesting because, you know, we all are on anonymity on these, a lot of us on these sites, uh, their, their handle is uh, no I am your father referencing a Mandela effect which I speak about quite frequently um, said that do I wear sunglasses because of my evil eyes so uh, that's certainly not the case um, and I could tell you you could rest assured that you will never see reptilian eyes uh, those slits happening with me um, being that I try to, uh, and I'm not on here saying I'm a good person. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that in the Bible, it does say to, uh, not upset the chosen one, lest you make them angry. That's in Psalms two, actually the, one of the first Psalms. Um, interestingly enough, it's one of the first Psalms. You could say it's one of the most important Psalms as a warning saying, hey, do not upset a chosen one. Do not make them angry. Um, and I just thought I'd give you a little lesson on why um, you shouldn't do that. There's a story in the Bible um, that, and I'm a little rusty on it. I haven't read it in a while, but... And this seemed like a Mandela effect to me because I didn't remember reading it until, let's say, 10-something years ago. But that there was a chosen one, and he was walking, and then all these uh, villagers, and I guess he was wearing raggedy clothes, and people, a lot of children, about 40 of them, in fact, uh, made fun of them, made fun of them, and really uh, were were throwing stones, I guess, and things like that. Then he um, got upset and two bears came out and killed them all. Killed all the people that were making fun of him. And it's been, I've seen people about that on the web saying that's evil and everything else. So um, what I could say is that when you, uh, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, um, at that point, you become um, the one who judges instead of getting judged, right? Um, hopefully this makes sense. So if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, then what does it say in the Bible? That you shouldn't make fun of the Holy Spirit. You shouldn't. That's the one thing. That's the one no-no right? That's the one thing you shouldn't do. You shouldn't attack uh, the Holy Spirit and malign in any way. It's just a bad idea, you know? Um, so everybody takes uh, Jesus' name in vain all the time, which they shouldn't. But what the one thing you're told is don't take the Holy Spirit's name in vain, you know? Don't do that. Don't, don't attack the Holy Spirit. So when um, that instance came about and when that judgment uh, happened, it was a righteous judgment. Um, people don't understand this part of it because uh, the Holy Spirit was with that person. So they had, uh, they instantly made a judgment and that's what happened. And, and uh, those, those people got killed by the bears. Now, you don't know. Um, you don't know if those, all those people are going to grow up to be murderers and rapists and, and you don't know anything 
about it. But what I can say is that was a holy judgment. Um, and that's like you're on a, a, a tic-tac game, let's say, and that was a fifth dimensional call. And once that happened, you know, everything, it, it's, it's a holy judgment and that's it. It's the way it is. So what I'm saying is, if there's somebody out there saying, "Hey, I'm, I'm a chosen one," um, I don't recommend you know attacking them or or making fun of them or things like that. I'm just saying it's not me uh, doing anything negative towards anybody. In fact, I hope you do great. Uh, the person who said that, and I'll pray for you um, in a good way. You know, totally positive. Did upset me at all. Um, but I thought I'd make a, a point of it that I don't recommend that people come on this channel and start, you know, attacking me for any reason. And then bad things happen and, you know, it's, it's really not me. Um, and again, uh, it wouldn't be a bad thing. It would be a good thing. A good thing would happen. Uh, but that would be from perhaps an evil point of view would be a bad thing. But it would be a a good thing, if that makes sense. So uh, it all it's all about whose side you're on. Now um, concerning some Mandela effects, I saw a lot of uh, Mandela effects. One thing, um, Caesar, the name Caesar. I just looked at it. It just looks completely wrong to me. I don't know if anybody else is out there. Uh, that feels the same way, but as I recall, it was C E A S, I believe, it was E R Caesar, and it just is it's like backwards to me now, it just seems different. C A E S, I believe it's A R, it just is uh, Caesar. I mean, as I recall, I'm supposed to sound out words and say them. Um, so when I spell them, Caesar, and now it's, it's Caesar. And what, interestingly enough, what is Jesus said about, uh, says, uh, with phrases of the word Caesar, he said, render under Caesar what is Caesar's, but render under God what is God. So that could illustrate what I'm talking about a little bit, that we, we, have to if we're and and they were asking him is it fair to pay all this um you know money and all this to caesar at the time and and right now as 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 americans and everyone else in the world were taxed really unfairly uh but in the structure of the situation that we're set up we have to do it but it what the lesson part of the lesson is what supersedes all that what is not God's what is what, everything so you have to give everything to God but if you're if you have to uh, you know do certain things you have to so um, that's what I wanted to talk about so I think that that is one of the things about why perhaps the Mandela effect changed. So people are all interested in um, voting for the right candidate. And interestingly enough, I put in the uh, the words uh, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, render to God what is God's. I put that in YouTube and the second video that I saw came up was uh, something about uh, voting in the last election and um, it's interesting uh, sermon. You should watch it if you could find it. Um, anyway, I uh, hope this all makes sense. Um, but I definitely um, remember Caesar being spelled differently. And it seems to be that that would be an important biblical lesson that everybody should remember is to uh, render what is Caesar to Caesars and render what is God to God's and when what is not God's like I'm saying everything is so we really need to um, be aware of trying to do what's right and good in the world at all times um, and that's it I hope this made sense and I'm not trying to be negative in any way 
Uh, hope you're having a great day. There's a lot of things going on in the world, and I'm praying for everything to uh, get better for everybody. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.